Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. It was just, uh, nailing. Anyway. Don't have much for a project video today, but I do need to organize a few more tools along my uh, French cleat wall. Uh, so I've done some already. There's a few tools. I'll show them in a bit. I've 3D printed some custom holds for them. I don't think I'm going to do that in this video. I think I'm just going to do some wooden holds, just maybe filling up this space seeing what point, oh, look at that, got it right in the first try. Uh, what point actually needs to be held to keep it straight? Um, really just a flat bar would probably be fine here, but um, yeah, just have a few of these uh, nailers. Just a quick video, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So my Setup here is, and everybody's familiar with this, uh, modular French cleat system. So um, I don't have a defined setup for how everything is. I move it around every once in a while. Um, I guess there's two factors in how I move things around. One is how things fit. Like, some of these things that are on the bottom, like the wrenches and the files, they're long and my last French cleat ends, I don't know, about a foot or so above the table, above the workbench. Uh, so it makes sense to have the longer things hanging down below. So the wrenches, the files, I have a couple saws back there. Some of these ideas are not new. Um, I've seen a lot of people take these um, PVC pipes this is probably about a three inch pipe um, with bottom section cut out enough to allow for the handle to go through. Um, I integrated a charging station on top so I can easily just take this out, slide it in, charge. These slide in pretty easily. And again, the whole thing lifts up to be moved around as with any of these. Yeah, so I have hammers, mallets over here, just a simple um, cutout, uh, just drill the hole and then cut along either side to allow it to fit in. Nothing too fancy. The planes, I do have these channels here with a couple of magnets. Just, it rests on the bottom and then the magnets just give it a little extra security to keep it from tipping backward. Screwdrivers, pretty easy. A couple of holes on the top of a piece of wood allow them to stick through. So here is where I have a couple more custom ones. This one, I never had a great method. I could have a screw here, but it opens it up and it just takes up a lot of room. So um, I guess I could have a screw here. But, you know, sometimes it's fun to be able to use uh, 3D printing. So this one's just a simple uh, 3D printed part that I took a picture of the uh, the profile here and just made a uh, holder that just holds it the narrowest part the rest just wedges in there simple to take in and out and hang up on the wall so same with a lot of these these uh, files rasps whatever you want to call them I don't know what you call this. Just call this a rasp. Rasp. Anyway, so I for these I just followed these um, contours here in order to make a little holder. I 3D printed these parts. A couple of them have a magnet in the back to hold onto the ferrule, just for a little extra security. Most of them just slide in and stay because of gravity. These ones being a little cheaper, I just put screws on. It wasn't worth making a 3D printed part. This one's pretty cool. Let's take it off. So this one, again, took a picture of the jigsaw and made a... I traced the inside of this, leaving a little scoop for the switch. Just Not, not that I have it plugged in while I have it hanging, but just so the switch isn't always pressed while it's hanging on the wall. Out in this. 
can't really see it out of frame here. Um, that <sighs> other people have done it. So if you're interested in learning how to actually make it, you can go check out April Wilkerson's channel. She has this PVC pipe attached to a platform here. And when you pull one out of these little bench cookies, next one drops in place. And when you're done, just drop it on top. Today I'm just going to make two more for the nailers and those will go somewhere here for now until I end up moving things around. Um, yeah, just going to be simple, quick, easy, dirty, simple. Hopefully it works. Um, I have this scrap maple plywood. A little bit chipped out on the back, but it's just a tool holder. Not too concerned. We'll start with this one actually a pretty good thickness as it is. If I... You know, let's, let's go a little fancy here. Right... Yeah, we'll go like this. And we'll actually make a little, uh... hole and force in a bit. Not do this. Bring this back a little bit. Alright, chop that off. Actually, let's drill the hole first. Drilled a little relief there. Might end up cutting that off, we'll see. We'll cut this off. I'm just gonna do it on the miter saw. All right, so this almost fits. I'm going to uh, round off these corners. I might cut this part off just so it fits a little better. Round that corner off a little bit too. So I'm just going to take it over to the sander. All right, see if this fits almost. A little tight up here. Still a little tight. Almost. I don't want it to be super tight. Now my finger's stuck. <laughs> I don't want it to be super tight. Yeah, there now. Although it'll hold really nicely on the wall. Yeah, that's good. In order for this to be centered and actually hold on, I'm going to, because of this, this comes out a little bit further, this comes out a little bit further than this plane, I need to build this out. But I can just put a piece of wood here. Alright, I have this piece. I think that's a pretty good size. We're going to mount this here. This will go on like that, and then I'll cut that off at the bottom. Yeah, that'll be good. Might as well round the corners, give it a little bit of style. We'll do a three quarter inch. And look at that. All right, let's round that off. All righty. Um, Put that where I want it. I'm going to clamp it. A couple of clamps, hold it in place, and put a couple of screws on the back. Let's see. Uh, we'll put one here, and we'll put one up here. We'll put a little bit of glue on the back. A little bit of glue. Helps if I have a couple of screws we'll put in here. Line up the holes. And they're screwing it in. <laughs> the screws went through. Alright, well, no biggie. We'll just. Now 
Now they become shiny features on the front. We'll just get this excess glue. We'll give it a little sand on the edges here. When I put up my French cleat, of course, I had some extra, so those are now my little pieces. So this is too long. I'll give it a little. Perfecto. I'm gonna put it as high as I can. I'm going to. All right. Clamp. Clamp. Make sure we don't hit any of our previous screws. Put a couple of screws in here. Glue. I'm gonna stay away from this edge here. I'm just gonna glue here, here, here is plenty. Ta -da -da -da. Wipe away the glue with your hands. So you can satisfyingly peel it off later. And that's pretty much it. So let's uh, go put this on the, the, the tool wall and see if it fits. See if it works. For now, we'll just put it in the middle. So this just hooks on. So this extra part rests against here. Most of the tool weight is going to be pulling it off the wall. It can't because of course it's into here and it's also resting against this front face. So now, let's see if I can hang this up and it stays. I don't think that's gonna come off the wall anytime soon. I would call that a success. Easy to get off. It's just barely hanging up. I think what saves it is this rubber grip has a little bit of friction on there. It's not too bad. You could always put like a little screw with a, a tiny washer that sticks up to make like a lip or something. Yeah, I'm gonna make the other one off camera. Basically it's gonna be the same exact thing. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and sharing really helps. Um, I know I'm new and I don't have that many views or uh, subscribers. So that one like or one share or one subscribe, it, I, I notice it. Going from 29 to 30 subscribers is a big deal. So yeah, any help is a help for me. Thanks. But in the end, I like to do it. So hope you enjoyed too. And that'll be it.